Good morning. morning. From Puerto Princesa. Before we start the video, we woke up to 250 subscribers on our YouTube channel this morning. Woohoo! So, thank you so much to everyone who has pressed that subscribe button, to everyone who watches our videos. I know that might not seem like a lot compared to other channels, but for us, it means the world and it's growth. Our channel is growing, which is incredible. Considering the fact that we've really only been on this adventure for the past six months, the fact that we've managed to grow it up to this point already is amazing. And we just hope to keep the momentum going. And the great news is we still have a bunch of other countries that are all queued up in the pipeline in terms of all of our footage. So watch this space for even more stuff. Just know we truly appreciate each and every one of you and we're really happy that it means that it's not just our parents watching. Exactly. Thank you all for watching and I hope you continue to enjoy what we're putting out there. This morning we are being given a ride to the airport from our hosts mm -hmm. and then we will be off to the next island in the Philippines. by how good this lounge is. Completely unexpected. Yeah, it's honestly been lovely. There's been a decent food selection and drinks and stuff have been nothing but lovely. And so yeah, this has been a bit of an unexpected journey. As for the food selection, it's bigger than I expected. They had some cold selection. They actually even have three hot selections. They have a little bit of fruit and the food quality wasn't the best, but it was definitely decent. So with that, we're rating it a five out of 10. Drinks wise, it's purely non-alcoholic here. There are no beer, wine, or water options. But in terms of what you can get, um, you have a fridge which includes juice, water, and soda. And then on top of that, if you want to make your own tea, Coffee, you have the option of that. Alternatively, if you ask the staff for it, they can also provide you with espresso options. So that's actually far more than we expected. Um, but because the fact obviously it isn't as extensive as the lounges we've been to, and also that there is that lack of alcohol, then we're rating this one a five. As for the cleanliness, there is absolutely nothing to complain about. I think that it is so clean because we are two of three people in this lounge. So with that, we're rating it a 9 out of 10. Comfort-wise, obviously, this is only a small lounge. You can really expect so much. But there are two different types of seating option. Whether you would want to spend too long in this lounge would be subject to debate based on that. But we'll still give this one a 6. As for amenities, is very basic. There are toilets, Wi-Fi, and charging ports, not much else, but again that's all you kind of really need from a lounge. So with that we're giving it a 5 out of 10. And that leaves this lounge with an overall rating of 30. Considering the size of this and considering the size of the airport then this is again really taking us by surprise and actually this does slot this just underneath our kind of level mid-tier lounges. 
and it's still an absolute mission ahead of the one that we experienced in Cairo as well. So yeah, this one definitely punches above its weight and it's still a decent thing if you're looking to get yourself a nice cheap road books tool. It is also worth noting that um, there is a walk-in price, which is 600 pesos, so about $15. If you, so even if you're not part of kind of a lounge program like we are, then it might still be worth the investment if you're in a pinch and you maybe need a meal. just arrived in Cebu and we need to get to the south bus terminal in order to get our bus down to our final destination of mobile. We were advised that there isn't a bus from the airport to the main bus terminal so we have now hopped in a metered taxi. So the taxi ride cost us 327 pesos which is actually a really good deal considering the fact that at the airport we were quoted two fixed prices. One was 675 pesos and the other 500 pesos. So getting a metered taxi actually was really good choice. forgive us for not looking so great right now both of our hair we've been playing with it and nothing is helping it's just kind of frizzy because when we got off the bus in mobile we had to then take a tricycle to get here to our hostel which is called momo hostel yep but i forgot to record that sorry but we're here and it seems really really nice um you know super quiet neighborhood and things and uh, i think it's close to the beach yep it seems to be close to the beach not that far away from other amenities either and there's like a little kind of bar kitchen area with darts a really really cute husky dog as well and, and we get water and coffee and tea for free exactly so yeah i think we could get used to this pretty quickly mm-hmm but I think that's all we've got time for today. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Good morning. From, 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 from Puerto Princesa. I just like to keep the momentum. Yeah.